You did not make yourself some spiders. Oh, come on! No! 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 Oh, no! Hey! Hey! Oh, hey! What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matt Malone! Thank you guys so very, very much for all the support for the giveaway video, for pushing hard on the subscriptions, I really appreciate it. And yeah, if you want to participate in the giveaway, there will be a link over my head right now. So, you can check that out, and uh, you will have until Saturday. Saturday to Sunday, uh, midnight, the giveaway will be go will be closed. Alright, what was that? I'm sorry, I, I slapped my little pop filter here. So yeah. But enough with the yammering, let's get into the hammering. So, today I'm in a gambling mood. I'm in a very gambling mood and that is why we're playing another Delina Pixie Guide Barbarian Class deck. Holy smokes, this deck is insane if it pops off and I hope it will because it is crazy. So, the plan is have down the Barbarian Class. If you would roll one or more dice, instead roll that many dice plus one and ignore the lowest roll. And the same for the pixie guide, if you would roll one or more dice instead, roll that many dice plus one and ignore the lowest freaking roll. And that is what we want to do. Put down our Delina, copy our creatures, we can copy her in the worst case, and then get in there for a lot of damage. And with the pixie guide and the barbarian class, we'll always roll something good. I'm so sure of it. And what do we want to copy? Well, a lot of stuff. We want to copy our relic robber, because then we can get in with... I don't know, 10 relic robbers deal them a lot of damage. Even if they block one or two of them, they still get all of these goblin constructs and those goblin constructs will deal a lot of damage. Or we copy our gold span dragon, gold span dragon, and make ourselves even more gold span dragons to attack in holy smokes. Or we copy the Inferno of the Starman, but it is legendary to say, well, Delina do not care about that. She does not care about legendaries. She just copies creatures and they aren't legendary anymore. So you can get in with, I don't know, 12 Inferno of the Star Mounts. That is the dream. What is the rest of the deck? Well, the rest of the deck is to make sure that we can get there with some rejects so we can get rid of the creatures in the early game. We have uh, some crush the weak so we can get rid of the creatures in the freaking early game. Just be wary that it kills your Relic Robber and your Delina. So don't use it when those two are out. I cannot stress this enough. Don't use them when those two are out or they will be freaking gonzo. Then we have some Prismari command to shoot some creatures, make ourselves some treasure, get in there even freaking faster. That would be nice. Also, we need some uh, mana for our level 2 because creatures will get manas if you roll a dice. And maybe even level 3 so creatures have haste. So with the Delina, it would be very nice to give her haste so that she can't be killed in the turn that she comes down without doing anything. Then we have the Tormenting Voice to find what we need. We have a Zariel and this one is very interesting because you can give your creatures plus one plus O oh, and haste until end of turn. So uh, if you put down your Delina while Zariel is down, you can still attack in even though you aren't on level three. So that is very nice. Also, you can make yourself a lot of devils, which is also nice. So you could also target the devils with the Delina, but do you really want to? But what is very nice here is the minus six. At the end of combat, you, well, at the end of the first combat phase on your turn, that is important, you untap a target creature you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. So, our dream is to put down the Barbarian class, get in with the Delina, untap her with the Zariel, and get in there once freaking more. Mmm, mmm, it is so good. It is so freaking good. And then we have the deck of many things. Just in case we want to get something back with the Tormenting Voice. Also this gambles as well, so the Pixie Guide and the Barbarian class are happy to see that. And yeah, that is the deck. Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling in honor of Fred Durst's new weird freaking look. This is the Keep On Rolling deck. We also have some lands, of course, with two Hall of the Storm Giants, so we can get in there for some big boy damage in the end. You can also, uh, you can also create this giant and attack in with the Delina, so you will have a lot of giants to attack in. 
might be tasty. We will find out if it happens. Then we have a Den of the Bugbear as well. Well, two of them, as is the Hall of the Storm Giants, just to make sure that we can get in there for the last bit of damage. Also very tasty. We have five islands, seven mountains, four frost boil snarks, and four river glide lava cat pathway. So yeah, this is a very crazy deck, and it is very fun. If it pops, it pops freaking hard, and I hope I will be able to show you so. And yeah, I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those gambly games. Alrighty, so we're up against Jumpasso. Hey, Jumpasso. Alright, I do like this hand. I mean, if we're up against an aggressive deck, we're super happy having this hand. And uh, if we're up against a Planeswalker deck, we're also super happy having this hand, so yeah. All right, we're up against an aggressive deck. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we drew another land. Not really what you want to see here. We got the reject, though. That is very nice, and we're going to keep it. So let's put this one down as a blue. That was very close. I almost lost my red source here. So we're keeping the reject open. We got two of those. That must be a sign. Must be a freaking sign. Yep, you're not playing that, Redain. That is out of our reach for the Crush the Week, so no way, Jose. Alright. Another blue, eh? But that is fine. We're, we're still chilling. We are still chilling. I mean, we will make our glorious uh, comeback sooner or later. And we will see what they're playing here. No way, Jose, once more. No, 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 no. You cannot do that. Alrighty, this is very sweet. This is very sweet indeed. Okay, so we're putting down a pixie guide, no need why we shouldn't, and then we're playing a gold span dragon, I mean, that is very nice. The Grandmaster of Flowers, alright, but what you doing here, my friend? That uh, will not help you, I think we did a pretty good job here of just keeping them at bay. Yes, they might know that one of our cards is a uh, land card, that is alright with me. Alright, there we go. Destroying uh, the Grandmaster of Flowers. Now we have a lot of mana. We can attack in with the Hall of the Storm Giants. We can attack in with the Den of the Bugbear. So we, we have we have chances of uh, beating them down real quick and fast here. But also I might just activate the level 3 Barbarian class. We will see. We will freaking see. Jumpasso. Right now we're just, you know, controlling them. There is no real, uh, whatchamacallit, rolling going on. Just controlling. Yes, yes. All right, that is a good target for my crush the week. Like that. I like that as well very much. Very much. So what you getting rid of? The barbarian class. All righty. You do that. You will lose all of your creatures. I get a new creature. I even... Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay. You know what? Hmm... What do I know? Well, if I put this one down, I can get in for 15. Yeah, I think that's totally worth it. I don't think that there's a way for them to make a miraculous freaking comeback here. So, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, they just scooped. The Inferno was too much for them to bear. Too much for them to bear. Oh, yes. Get in there, Fribblebit. Get in there. So right now we were just a regular controlling deck, but uh, yeah, maybe we will be a cunt rolling deck, you know, rolling them dice, um, you know what I mean? Alright, we're going first. Oh my, oh my, what a hand. What a hand. Well, we have the tormenting voice in the worst case. If we don't draw land here, we might even be doing that. We will see. We will see. But we do have a relic robber as well, so oh my lord, is everybody just playing mono white here now? Is everybody just playing a mono white here now? I think they are. I think that they are. So we're putting down another red. We don't need another blue, to be honest. And we're foretelling this, just in case. I mean, we have two tormenting boys, but only two lands. The Luminarc Aspirant. All right, that is still okay. We still wipe the board here. A bajillion percent. All right, we even got a land. That is very nice. That is indeed very nice. But I still think wiping the board here is of utmost importance, because otherwise this gets out of hand real quick. Real freaking quick. Alrighty. So what's your plan now, my friend? The Redain. Yeah, I don't really care about that, but uh, yeah, it's still not super good for us. 
So I think the Relic Robber is not too useful here. It will give him uh, the possibility to be very annoying here. Very, very annoying. Alright. We got a Barbarian class though, but no land. No land. Keep that in mind. No land. The Kalarion Spirit. Alright, and the Paladin class. Yep, that is the reason why I didn't want to give him a, uh, you know, the, uh, oh my lord. Are you serious, game? Are you freaking serious here? Well, at least we can do this now. And, uh, yeah, I think we will draw a land here. I'm pretty sure we will. 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 Alright, so uh, we're getting rid of one Pixie Guide and one Barbarian class. We still have the others. So yeah, all we need is some land and we're kind of happy. But uh, right now we're not looking happy at all. Not at all. So they're getting in there for five. So if we draw a land here, thank Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, so freaking much. Alright, so we can put down a Pixie Guide here. All we need now is to survive for one more freaking turn. I mean, we can block this. That is nice. The Monk of the Open Hand. That is not... Oh, come on! Like, seriously, come on. We couldn't find the land, but they find everything they need. All right, that is typical. Typical. All right, getting in with both. That is weird, but okay, I, I accept the weirdness. I accept it. So, we're... We could have used this one turn sooner, or maybe if they wouldn't have had the Paladin class, but right now this is just looking very, very bad for us. Very bad for us. I don't think that there's any way of us making any comeback here. I mean, this is 9, this is, yeah, not drawing lands here, and they even got another Elite Spellbinder. Like, infinite power, infinite lands, the Skyclave Apparition was very bad here for us. So yeah, there's actually nothing we can do. They will just attack in. Like, look at this. Look at this. They emptied their whole hand and not a single spell was useless. Not a single one was useless. Not a single one. Alright, yeah, we're taking the hit here. I mean, there was no way to block here and survive. We need our Delina and Pixie Guide and... Just, you know, no way. No freaking way. Jose. Mm-mm. But you know, if you're not drawing lands at all and stuff like that, that is just brutal. Like, how many cards did we draw and not find a single land? Like, five, six? Not a single land? Yeah. That was brutal. Brutal. When you need them, you don't get them. If you don't need them, oh, there is an abundance. A freaking abundance. Just as I said. All right, we're going first. I kind of like this head because we have the tormenting voice, so everything is bueno. At least it's not a mono-white deck. We get that going for us. Oh, this is very sweet. Normally there should be no way for them to uh, get rid of this. Normally. Normally. Now they're playing white. Put it... Okay. Yeah, maybe they have a, um, you know, a binding of the old gods here. All right. We're doing this. They will now use the Shambling Ghast here, I'm pretty sure of it, and maybe they will be playing a Binding of the Old Gods, I mean... Am I a magician? Can I look into the future? I might be able to. But if they're not, we have a very good chance of winning here. A very good chance. But I'm pretty sure that here it comes. I'm pretty sure... Oh! Okay. Okay. Interesting. Pretty freaking interesting. So if we do this, we cannot do that. But I really want to do this. Alright, so here goes nothing. Here goes freaking nothing. If they do have a uh, an answer here, it is what it is. It is what it freaking is. The skeletal swarming? That is no answer, my friend. That is the opposite of an answer in this case. Alrighty, alrighty. I mean, we have two Deliners. We can just go ahead and gamble, 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 my friends. Oh wow, that was a very bad gamble. A very, very bad gamble. But we can gamble once more next turn, so hey. And if we find a land here and they don't have an answer, we will gamble a more, even freaking more. I mean, yeah, that was kind of to be expected. Kind of to be expected. But as I said, we have more gamblers here, and wow, the game really wants me to gamble away today. 
All righty. All righty. Come on, gamble. Oh, my lord. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? Those are the worst gambles I have ever seen in my life. Ever. All right. But all we need is them not to kill us this turn. And we uh, kind of have a very good chance here. I mean, they could still use the environmental sciences. But we just need to roll one good roll. One single good roll. And we're super happy. Super happy. All right. So what you doing here, my friend? Going to six. One single good roll is all we need. Okay. That was unexpected, to be honest. Freaking unexpected, to be honest. But as I said, one good roll is all we need. One good roll. All right. All right. So, yeah. I don't even think that we need a good roll. We just need to get in there. Just need to get in there. But let us see how many... Oh, they just scooped. Come on. Come on. I was just about to blaze you with my inferno. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, so we could have blazed it with the Inferno. The dream almost came freaking through. But we had three Delinas. That was crazy. We're going first once more. I do not mind that at all. Not at all. Alright. So we uh, don't need to show them what we're packing here. No need. We will show him now, though. Oh my, oh my. That is very, very nice. So, we will have a Delina next turn. Well, not next turn, but we will have a turn for a Delina. Ready to rock. We do have the Reject also, but we also have the Prismari Commando. So, uh, yeah. We will see what they're doing. But they're playing dragons. They have a dragon fire here, don't they? They have a dragon fire. And they're looking at my pixie guide. Ready to dragon fire away. Oh, they do not. They do not. Okay. I'm not attacking in just because I uh, don't know why. Uh, there was no reason. I could have attacked in. If we lose for one damage in the end, it is what it is. It is what it is. Alrighty. We are now doing this. Maybe they counter spell it here. Would be awesome. They do not. Okay, well, that is kind of bad. But only kind of bad. If they have a counter spell and they use it here, it is what it is. It is what it freaking is. But we will find out. And they do. They do have a counter spell, don't they? Yeah. Oh, they do not. Oh, but they have another. Yeah, they have just a frostbite or something like that. Just a regular little. And they have their own Prismari command. Oh, come on. Come on. All right. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. I wish uh, they wouldn't have had it, but you kind of always walk into that trap when you're playing against Prismari. They always have something. Always freaking have something. And they're foretelling away like crazy. Like freaking crazy. All right. Can we try this once more? I mean, if they have a counter spell here and they want to use it, I'm okay with that. They do have something. They do freaking have something. It's a shock or frostbite. Come on, like seriously. I mean, yeah, I have two Delinas, but there is a limit. There is a limit. Come on, come on. There is a freaking limit. Like, seriously. There, you shouldn't have, have all of those. You just shouldn't. Just shouldn't. For telling all of these spells also. Yeah, go ahead. You do that. You freaking do that. We still have the reject here. We now just beat him with pixie guides. And then as soon as we find another land, we will just, you know, burn them with our inferno. One land is all we need. One land, sooner or later, is all we freaking need to burn them with our inferno. They will take a, a draw two cards here now. Like, how many of those do you have? Like, come on. Seriously. This might now be a gold span dragon, ready to rock and roll. Okay, yep. As I said, behold the multiverse. In their hand, ready to be very annoying for us. Good for you. Good for you, my friend. Good for you. Prismari Command. Scorching Dragon Fire two times. But here we freaking go. Here we go. Inferno ready to rock. Mmm. What you gonna do here, my friend? What you gonna do? Counter it. Come on. Counter it. Yes, that's what I thought. That is what I freaking thought. All right. So you would need a gold spend dragon and another scorching dragon fire or dragon's fire to be very annoying. 
or a land, a gold span dragon and a prismari command. But honestly, I don't think you do have it. I do not think you do. And even if you have extra turns here, even if you do have extra turns. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. That is what I thought. You don't have nothing. Nothing. Mmm, let's go, bro. Let's freaking go. Oh, boom. That is what I thought. That is what you get for shooting down every single one of my game plans. Every single one of my game plans. Like, what is this? Come on, Shuffler. Come on. Come on. Alrighty, so we're looking very okay right now. Three to one. Beppe Grillo. Beppe Grillo. Alright. Oh, wow. What is this hand? Well, it's okay. We have the Relic Robber. We have the Reject for the early game. Let's just hope that we're not up against a Mono White deck that has everything on turn two ready to kill us. And then we're kind of good. Then we are kind of good. So. What you doing, my Brazilian friend? I hope you're not killing us on turn two. That would be awesome. Boom! So. Also just making us wait. It's okay. We we have time. We have coffee. We have everything we need. Mm -hmm. Delicious coffee. Mm -mm. Oh, they're here. They are here. Alright, we're up against another freaking uh, dragon stack. I'm pretty sure of it. But let us see if they have the right amount of everything once more oh my okay okay so we're for showing them this now just because we can and then we will see what to do in maybe they will foretell even more but we will just get in there with a regular relic robber next turn if they don't do anything I mean, we didn't draw any lands for now. That is pretty bad for us. They're still foretelling stuff like there is no tomorrow. Okay. Well, if we draw land next turn, we're super happy with this relic robber here. We are. We are, we are. Alrighty. So, what you doing? Getting relic robbed, my friend. Yes, a relic robber. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I would. So... Okay, they're Prismari Dragons, just as I freaking thought. Just as I freaking thought. And they have the Prismari Command, don't they? They have the Prismari Command in 3, 2, 1. Prismari Command! I mean, what are the chances that they don't have it? Pretty low in my book. Pretty freaking... Oh my, okay. Okay. You're not doing anything. Is that the smart decision here, my friend? Is it? Well, we will see what they're doing. It cannot block. We're getting in there for some damage. I'm very curious at what they're doing here. Oh, they're just frostbiting away. All right. Well, that is what it is. It is what it is. Not much we can do. We're still dealing one damage here every single turn. And I still don't want him to have a uh, Galazet Prismari here. So if they have a counter spell, wouldn't be a wonder. If they had two here, wouldn't even be a wonder. So yeah, I'm still not kicking this. I want my rejects in hand. I was watching a uh, MTG Arena original deck and he said something, a video yesterday, and he said something that is so freaking true. If you're playing against Mono Green, you can be sure they always have a freaking Blizzard Brawl in hand. And uh, yeah, the Prismari decks always have a uh, side coming or a... Um, extra turns in the first six turns always always there's no way around it no freaking way around it all right they okay yeah do that you do that that is fine with me all righty so they still might have a gold span dragon here still might have it so i will be keeping this one up not drawing lands here is very annoying but hey what you gonna do what you gonna do so one two three four five yep they could have the gold span dragon here but we have our Inferno, so all we need is to survive long enough. Yeah, I, I, I kind of knew that would happen. I kind of knew that would happen, my friend. Kind of knew. Yeah, I'm not blocking that. You, you can keep your damage, my friend. You can keep it. All right, we found another land. That is very good for us. Very, very good. And we're getting in there for some damage every single freaking turn. Every single freaking turn. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm rejecting you. I will be rejecting you, my friend. No way I'm letting that happen. No way, Jose, I'm letting that happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You had your creatures. I didn't have any land all the time, so now I'm here. Now I'm here. Being annoying myself. All right, this is pretty freaking good, because that means that we will have land. All right, they have a frostbite or something. I don't know what they have, but they do have something. Do have freaking something. But what is it? What is it? What do you have? It is something. I know they do have something. I know they do have something. All right. We're still getting in there. We're still getting in there. There's no need not to. No freaking need not to. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, next turn we can activate this and our freaking Delina. Yep, as I said, they have a frostbite. They do have a frostbite, but we can still activate this and our Delina. Get in there with a million gold span dragons. So, take your extra turn. Do it. Take your extra turn. I can't wait for it. As I said, never not freaking have it. Never not. Oh my. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah, there is a pretty high chance that one of those is a counter spell. So you know what? You know what? If it is a counter spell, screw them. Screw them. What you gonna do about the inferno? Can't be a countered, my friend. Can't be countered. Oh man, the inferno. It is just the best card since the gold span dragon. It is just what it is. Beperillo, what you doing? You denied everything once more. I denied yours once more. Everything. Come on, counter it. Do it. Counter it. Freaking do it. Oh! Oh, yes! It cannot be countered. And look at this. Look at this. It is exactly how I said. They have two freaking extra turns in hand. Two extra turns in hand. Like, what is this? In the first 16 cards. Get out of here. Get out of here, Arena. Get out of here. Alrighty. So, we're 4 to 1. Not bad with a completely, like, gambler stack. I mean, we couldn't pull it off yet. Not yet, but we're on our way. Okay, I really don't know what to think about this hand. I really do not know what to think about this hand. Mm, let's keep it for now. Oh man, I, I know I will. I know I shouldn't have done it. I know I shouldn't have. Alright, but we do have the crush the week, so uh, at least we can get rid of stuff. So, at least we got that going for us, right? Right? Oh, this hand is so questionable at best. So freaking questionable at best. Alright, they're attacking and it means that they have the Deadly Dispute in hand. Is that word in the, card of the, na uh, the name of the card? I don't re even remember. One that makes you sacrifice and get something, uh, some treasure tokens. Alright, this is pretty good. But I still think that we're just foretelling this one now. Next turn we can put down a Barbarian class number 2 and uh, be very annoying. So all we need is to find what we need. All we need is to find what we need. I know, makes sense. Makes freaking sense. Okay, well, I think this is going to be the Inferno of the Star Mounts. But good thing we have to crush the weak. Good thing we have it. So we're up against the CGB uh, be annoying deck. That is very annoying. That is very, very annoying. All right, we got the Pixie Guide. That is very nice. Very nice. So we're getting rid of this board. It gets, everything gets freaking exiled. We're putting down the Pixie Guide. So if we can now find our Delina, we're super happy. Or land would also be nice. Land would also be very nice. But we will see. Okay, they're just getting in with the Faceless Haven. That makes total sense. Makes total freaking sense. Okay. Well, the Book of Many Things, sadly, is not what we're looking for. But the Delina is. Oh, yes, the Delina is. The Delina is absolutely what we're looking for. All right. Can she survive one turn, though? Can she? We will find out. The Loth. All right. I think that, it, that this is still okay. I think it is still okay. 
Do they have removal, though? Do they have it? Do they freaking have it? I don't know, but I will attack the Loth here. Make myself a treasure. So that I can activate all of them next turn immediately. And then we will get in there. Or can I? This costs five. Yes, it does. All right. All right. So they're making themselves some more spiders, getting in with the Faceless Haven, but we will activate the Barbarian class immediately. And they need, they need like, spot removal, like target... You did not make yourself some spiders. Oh, come on! No! 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 Oh, no! Hey! Hey! Oh, hey! This is not cool, game! This is not cool! This is not cool at all! Not cool game. Mm-mm. Not cool. Absolutely not cool. Not freaking cool. Holy smokes. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, hey. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I I'm sorry. But that was too much. That was too much to bear. And we get a land. That is actually not what I was looking for. But hey. But hey. So we're putting down this one, we're activating the level 3, creatures now have haste, cool, Q, alright, alright. Getting in there for some damage. Oh man, the D-Liner would have been so sweet in my hand. Now we won't, oh come on, like everything they could wish for, everything, freaking everything they could wish for. Come on, what a perfect set of events here for them. Getting rid of all of our stuff, being freaking obnoxious. Mm. Mm. The name of the freaking game. All right, how much does this cost six? We don't have enough, we don't have enough. All right, so uh, it's the liner or bust. It is the liner or freaking bust. I hope it's not bust. Bust would be bad. Bust would be, well, that's not bad as well. That is not bad as well. But yeah, as I said, it is the line hour bust. We, they will have a flunky or even a soul shatter, something like that. I mean, it was pretty clear. It was pretty clear from the get go. Like, oh man, the second acquisition expert. Why? 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 Why did you have a second acquisition expert? Why? Oh, that was so brutal. If they find a land here, we're dead. We're just dead. To the faceless haven and spider combo. Holy smokes, and they will have one bajillion percent have a removal here. One bajillion percent will have a removal here. Holy smokes. Why did they have to have the second acquisition expert? Why? Why? Oh man, this crush the weak doesn't help me at all. Does not help me at all. Well, good game, my friend. Good game. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Oh man, but come on, the second acquisition expert. Why? Why? Why did you have it? Why? Why? I'm shouting out my Patreons and all my members too. A special thanks in our shout out time, starting with our Z with the Great Hardest, Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, Atomatom, Vince MH, Vicky White, Emanuele Colognato, and John Bell. Thank you so very much. A special thanks to our Gold Span Dragons, mm, Waffles, Randy A.K. Donald T., Floriano Scott, Jan Newman, Samster65, Anthony, Tim Clandy, William Whitehead, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, Ya Boy Big Bizzle, and Mr. Mild. Thank you so much. And a special thanks, of course, to our Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Grandalf, and Danny Montgomery. You guys are pretty freaking sweet. I appreciate each and every one of you. Go in the extra mile to support me on the Patreon and the membership. Also, yeah, as a special thanks, if you didn't know so, know so already, there will be a special giveaway for my patrons and members. So if you want to participate in that as well, check out the Patreon and the membership down below. It is easy as pie. And if you don't have any hard-earned cash to share, don't you worry about it, sweet summer child. There's always other ways to support the channel, like subscribing. It's free. You just push a little button down there, you become part of the Malone family, easy as freaking pie. So, the deck sadly didn't work out the way I wanted it to. We had the one Delina, it got discarded in the last game. That was brutal, freaking brutal. I was so sad. I was so freaking sad. Also, yeah, 
We want more games with the Inferno than with the Delina. So is this a very good deck you should play? I don't think so. I'm sorry. It happens sometimes. There's days like these where it just won't work the way you thought it would. And yeah, I think the meta is already very stabilized and I think that there's too many uh, Frostbites and stuff like that and also too many Skyclave Apparition that are taking care of your Barbarian class. So yeah, maybe if you want to rank, check out yesterday's deck. That was very, very nice to rank. And uh, yeah, if you want to gamble, maybe don't do it in the rank queue. In the unranked queue, you will have some more fun with this. I can assure you that. It is more a fun deck than anything else. All right, thank you guys so very freaking much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share the video with one of your closest friends. And yeah, I'm Matt Smalone, and I will see you all tomorrow.